Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to take a closer look, understand deep dive, understand the booting process of Angular application. What happens when you run the command ng serve? We will learn end to end of it. We will see how the the component and the main modules are connected. What are the important files that come into picture and what you should do to customize your application. This is part eight of the Angular 10 full tutorial series for beginners. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you, including live project along with in this particular series. The playlist link, the notes and code will be updated in the GitHub link and the link will be given in the description box below. Make sure you please check it out. Again, if you have any doubts, please ask me in the comments section. This is part eight of this particular series. Make sure that you have, uh, you have gone through the previous uh, episode so that you have continuity in learning as I have covered all the topics in detail with notes. All right, so today uh, today's topic is boot process in Angular and some of the important things that you should know uh, as a developer about the Angular booting process. All right, so let's go get started and see our folder structure and get some understanding. So I will continue building on the notes that we did in the um, in the last episode. So this I will again keep it for the next episode. But today we are learning in detail about the booting process, right? Boot process of Angular apps, right? So remember there are some import main important files. To, to start any Angular application, we will run the command ng serve. Right. So when we serve this, the first thing it does is compiling the app. Right. It will first compile the app and then there is an important file. It is called main.ts. Right. So main.ts file is the file from where everything starts in your Angular application. Right. So let me show you the flow, how it's related. Let's go to main.ts. Now here, you will see there is something called platform browser dynamic dot bootstrap module app module, right? So this is where we are telling our application that bootstrap our application, but and use the module by the name app module, right? Every module can have multiple components, right? Usually Angular comes with one module, one component, which is app module and app component. Right. So the first uh, thing that we are telling here in line number 11 is start the application, bootstrap the application and load with the module app module. Right. So here you're telling bootstrap module and that module is app module. Now inside app module, if you see, uh, there would be something called a component and that component name is app component. By default, there is only one module, one component. But ideally, you can have any other modules like, for example, you'll say auth module, which will be related to authentication. It would have different, um, you know, components like login, then check authentication, right? Check authentication and then you'll have forgot, then you would have new user or logged in user. So these are all different, um, you know, uh, components that you would have in a auth module, right? So when you're building a real time application, you would go ahead and change this to in your here in the main.ts, right? Now it says it's not defined because we have not yet created it, but we'll create it in the next coming episodes. Uh, so that's how, uh, so the, what I want to convey in this particular episode to you is, this is the main file where you will change all your configurations for booting. The other important thing is, once you make that change, you also need to change in test.ts file, which is here. Because this is your testing test scripts, test scripts for main.ts file, right? 
Now, now let's look at into a holistic view and I want to show you how you can work it with uh, the flow, right? So this is, I'll give you a visual flow of how things work now. Let's say you have your main file, which is index.html, right? So what happens is in your index.html, you don't have any code. All you have is a directive which says app hyphen root, right? That's all you have, nothing else. So you are telling Angular that come and whatever is the output, put it inside index.html. In whatever is the output of this particular directive, put it into index.html, load it there. Now let's see what is there inside app root. So if you go into your app module and component, into the component you see app root, right? That's the selector. Now this tells that whatever is the output of this component, should go inside app root right and so see how it's getting connected now in the index.html it will call once main dot uh, the when once you have bootstrapped it will call index then you are calling app module and app module tells that what is the bootstrap see i'm in app.module.ts and here i'm saying that bootstrap with the component app component so now it would go to app component and here in app component we are saying that selector is app root now whatever is the output of this component put it wherever there is this selector and this selector is defined in our index.html so that's why the output of app component is what is loaded into index.html now let me show you this in action Let's run the application ng serve. So first it will compile your application. Let's give it a couple of minutes. Okay, you have to be inside and then run ng serve. All right, while we are waiting, please hit the like button if you are enjoying the video. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you are feeling generous, please buy me a coffee. I'll give you the link at the end of the episode. Also, uh, if you have any doubts, you can also always reach out to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Okay, so please make sure that you send me your doubts, your queries. I'll be happy to help you. All right, let's still, it's still working. So let the magic work for a couple of more seconds. Do let me know how you are feeling this particular series. Uh, the reason I have to wait here is like I keep telling I don't edit anything. I just do live coding with you. So I am also human. I also make mistakes, but the idea is to learn together. All right, so it's building. Okay, so now it says it's not finding auth module, which is correct because we don't have it. So there is a hot reload, which means I just press save and it will load. Okay, so now it has compiled successfully and it has generated three files, see, right? These are the three main files. I'll talk about it in just a minute, but first let me show you the output that will come when it's you. So now you see, we have this component, which is the output. Now you right click view page source. You won't see anything except for app root, right? The reason is, like I said, all the code, all the UI, all the functionality of your application gets injected into app root dynamically. Okay. That's why you don't see anything in source. But however, when you right click, do inspect element, you would see the app root expanded. You would see all the details of buttons, DIVs, everything. Because these are all injected at runtime into our index.html. Right. Now, the, the best way to see this in action is to go ahead and edit it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete everything from this particular file except for one line, which is router outlet. What is it? Why is it important? We'll learn it a little later once we start routing. So I have deleted everything and save it. So there is no output now. So your page should be empty just like this. Now I'm going to add a heading and I'm going to add here don't worry about why I'm adding curly braces today. The idea is not that. Today we are learning 
of important thing about booting so you see here it has added the title which is coming from your component.ts right so coming back so this is the flow you saw that app component is the main one in the app root it loaded the output into index.html that's the flow in most cases you will have more multiple components around 20 25 is common in any application all of that will be related to parent child relationship or independent and will get loaded we'll see about that when we cover components don't worry all right so this was about the index now remember remember whenever we do a ng serve or build or test what angular does is it will compile your your typescript code into javascript right this is what is also called as transpiling okay now what happens is it will convert your typescript into javascript code and there are four main important files that it will generate it will generate ma main.js polyfills.js then you will have main.js.map and there is one more i forgot the name uh, the best way is to check here in the inspect you would see network uh, right here you would see the js files runtime polyfill style and vendor main js so these are the js files that it generates vendor runtime polyfills and main.js right so you see you wrote the code in typescript but it gave you output in javascript right and this javascript is es6 which means it's compatible with most modern browsers right so uh, polyfills then you have vendor.js which is your plugins and dependencies then you have your style.js which is your style sheets and scss and finally you have runtime.js okay so remember that whenever you do any of the commands ng serve build test or any of these commands angular will run this code convert your typescript into javascript right and once it's converted into once it's converted into js files that's the only thing you will see in your output you will not see typescript okay i will cover a um, separate uh, episode where i will show you my debugging techniques right how to debug faster how to debug easy and how to debug like a pro all right so that was all about today's topic which is uh, about how do you build how do you uh, boot process how do you build how is it all connected and what happens as your output right i hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, this episode and learned uh, uh, about the booting process if you have enjoyed give a thumbs up to this particular episode do like share and subscribe to my channel like i said if you are feeling generous please feel um, please buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com/arctutorials thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next episode we will learn about package.json and package lock.json thank you so much for joining